Hey girls, today we are doing Pilates fundamentals. So these are all pretty basic Pilates moves, but that does not mean that they are necessarily easy. And it's always great to go back after you've been practicing for a while to go back to some of the basic essentials and just kind of make sure that you're really, really doing them well. So that is exactly what this workout is for. And also if you are a beginner in Pilates, this is perfect for you as well. All right, let's start laying on our back. And we're gonna start with some bridges here. So we're gonna have those feet hip distance apart, arms long by our side. And from here, I want you to have a nice neutral spine position. So arms are long by your side, neck is long, neutral position through the spine, which means the tailbone is down. You have a tiny little space between your low back and the mat, and those shoulder blades are down. Now from here, keeping those feet hip distance apart, weight in your heels, take an inhale, and then exhale. I want you to flatten that low back down towards the mat. So you kind of tuck your pelvis a little bit and then slowly peel one vertebrae off the mat at a time, starting from your tailbone, lifting up into a nice, beautiful bridge position, rib cage knit together, reaching those knees forward. Inhale at the top, and then exhale. Melt that spine down, back one bone at a time. Every bone hits the mat, and then slightly just untuck that pelvis. So you have that tiny little tuck, and then lift it up, exhaling as you lift. <sighs> Inhaling, holding at the top, exhaling and melting that spine back down. <sighs> Inhale at the bottom, exhale, tuck and lift. <sighs> Feeling that length through the front of the body. Inhale at the top, exhale, melt that spine down. One bone at a time. <sighs> Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it back down. Weight staying in those heels. Maybe wiggling those toes a little bit. Last one here. <sighs> Inhale at the top, exhale, melt it back down one bone at a time. We're gonna go back up to the top and stay at the top here. So lifting up, you hold it. <sighs> now, again, reaching those knees forward. We have our hips right here, those hip bones. I want you to drop one hip down, lift it back up, and then drop the other hip down, lift it right back up. So you're dipping one hip down, up, other hip down, and up. Alternating side to side, you're getting a little swivel through those hips, through your torso here, down, lift. Getting those glutes firing up, down, lift. One more, down, Lift, hold it right here. Take an inhale, feel that length again. Exhale, melt that spine down one bone at a time. Now those legs and booties should already be fired up. Core should be nice and strong here. Now from here, scoop, roll it back up. Hold it there one last time. Now, the goal here is to make sure that we're not swiveling those hips. So engage the core even tighter. Make sure the hips do not swivel as you float one leg up. Drop it down, other leg floats up. So we're marching in our bridge now here, keeping those hips as steady as possible. So we have to engage those obliques to prevent that twisty feeling through our torso and let those hips drop. We wanna keep them from dropping here. One more on each side. You've got this ladies, nice job. Hold it here, make sure everything's beautiful and in alignment. Take an inhale, exhale, melt that spine down one bone at a time. Hug those knees in, get that low back a little stretch there. Rock a little side to side. Awesome job, ladies. All right, we're gonna get into a little bit of toe taps here. Really getting those low abs fired up even more. So you're gonna bring those legs up to a tabletop position. Still in that nice, beautiful, neutral spine. Tailbone glued down to the mat. 90 degree bend in those knees. From here, you're gonna drop one toe towards the floor, doesn't have to touch, and then pull back up. Other side drops down. Down, pull right back up. The goal here is to keep the low abs pulling in as much as possible. So you could put your fingertips on the low abs, and instead of letting them pooch up to the ceiling, you're drawing them deeper down in towards the mat as the leg floats towards the floor. Inhale down, big exhale to lift. 
Inhale down, exhale to lift. <sighs> Rib cage knit together here. Abs are pulling so tight, it should feel like a plank. <sighs> Almost there, ladies. Try and relax those shoulders. Three more each side. <sighs> Inhale down. <sighs> Two more each side. Now try and relax that upper body a little bit more. One more each side. <sighs> now glue those legs together. Keep that 90 degree bend. Both toes are gonna drop down, right back up. Now, because you have two legs moving, it's gonna be a little bit harder. You have a little bit more weight that you have to control with that lower body. So make sure you're keeping those abs pulling in. You may not touch the floor and that is totally, totally fine. Go at your own range here. It's all about what you can do and what your body can do. And the stronger you get, the more range of motion you'll be able to get. Three more. Two more. Last one and relax. All right, again, easy, but if you are really engaging those abs, if you're really engaging all those muscles, you'll be shaking, you'll be feeling those abs. Everything is already working super, super hard here. All right, we're gonna find that same position with the legs and tabletop. If you're feeling like that's a little challenging for you today, feel free to bring those feet back on the floor for these next two exercises. It's totally fine here. Otherwise, find that tabletop position, arms long by your side. We're gonna do ab curls. So nice neutral spine, take an inhale here. And then from here, let's rotate the palms up to kind of let those shoulders open up a little bit. And you're gonna exhale, lift, inhale back down. Exhale, lift, reach those fingertips to the wall in front of you, inhale down. <sighs> Flattening the belly at the top of that ab curl. <sighs> keeping the shoulders open, keeping the chest nice and open. <sighs> Hips glued to the mat. <sighs> <sighs> nice job, ladies. Exhaling, you curl. Nice long spine. Imagine an orange between your chin and your chest. Two more here. Last one. Now rotate the palms down. You're gonna lift it back up, hold it right here. You're gonna start pumping those arms and breathe in for five, four, three, two, one. Out, five, four, three, two, one. In, out, five, four, three, two, one. In, this is our Pilates 100, out. In. Out, pumping those arms nice and strong, lift a little higher, in. In, and out, two, three, four, five, in. Out, two, three, four, five, in. Maybe lift a little higher. In, out, two, three, four, five, two more rounds, in. Out, two, three, four, five. Last one, in. Out, two, three, four, five, and rest. Let the head drop down, rock those knees a little side to side. Those are tough. Whew, they really work the core. They get everything warmed up and they help us with our breathing. Nice, consistent breath there. All right, we're gonna turn over onto one of our sides and do a little bit of side leg work here. Now, I'm gonna let my head drop down onto my arm here. You can grab a pillow if you need it. I'm gonna set myself up so that my spine is towards the back of my mat, right in the line with the, the, the side of the mat. And then my feet are gonna come towards the front of my mat. I'm gonna go with a flexed foot today, but you can totally point through those toes too if you would like. But I'm gonna go flex foot. Now, from here, lift up through the bottom side oblique a little bit. You should be able to stick one or two fingers underneath that waistline. I like to call it a little mouse hole. And then from here, you're gonna lift that leg up and then lower it down. Reach that leg all the way across the room and down. Control it. Nothing should be moving except that leg. 
core is so tight here, it feels like we're in a side plank. Four. Here's three. Two more. Last one, hold it. Little circles about the size of a dinner plate for 10. Nine, nice and controlled. Eight. Seven, stay steady. Those abs are working over time. Here's five, four, three, two. Last one, reverse it for 10. Nine, that flexed foot position can help you really reach through that heel, feel length through that leg. Five more. You've got this for four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Those outer thighs should be feeling it. We are gonna find a little modified side plank here. If you're feeling super strong, feel free to do it in a full side plank on the elbow. Otherwise, the bottom knee can stay down. Now, you're right in the middle of your mat here. Bottom knee is gonna be down. From here, you have the forearm in alignment with the short side of your mat. And then from here, you're gonna lift up, find a nice side plank. Side planks are amazing for those lower side obliques and then also for that shoulder on that bottom side. So I want you to be lifting up through the shoulder. It's as much shoulder work as it is abs and obliques here. So pressing up, keep the shoulder away from the ears. Big inhale and exhale. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew. All right, come on over to the other side and we're gonna do it all again on that other side. All right, so setting myself up, spine towards the back of the mat, feet are towards the front, flexing through that hip, through those feet, sorry, stacking those hips, stacking those shoulders, lifting up through that bottom waistline here. From here, we're lifting and down. I want you to think more about length on this rather than getting really high with the leg. So imagine you're trying to reach the heel all the way across the room here. So we have five. Four more, three, two, last one, hold it. Circle it back just for 10. Nice and steady. Again, abs are working over time. Just as much ab work as that leg work. That outer thigh and that booty should be burning. Three, two, last one, reverse it. 10 in the opposite direction. About the size of a dinner plate, not too big here. Inhale to start, exhale to finish those circles. Reach a little longer out through that hip socket. Four, three, two, one, and down. Whoo, pat out that hip, finding that side plank. Again, that modified position. We're right in the middle. That forearm is reaching forward in front of you. I like a little fist, but you could totally open it up, whatever feels right. And then again, we're right in line. You're gonna lift it up. Find that modified side plank here or that full side plank if you're feeling strong. Remember, just as much shoulder and lat working as that oblique. You're lifted up through those hips. Big inhales and exhales, breathing through it. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, lengthening out through the crown of the head. Look directly and forward in front of you keeping that neck in line with your spine. We're here for three, two, one, and down. Whew. Oh my gosh, you are doing amazing today. All right, we're gonna come over onto our belly. And then from here, we're gonna do some back extension work here, working the upper back. Arms are gonna reach long in front of you. You have your hands about as wide as your mat. Your feet are gonna be about as wide as your mat too. Now, from here, I like to turn my knees and toes out just a little bit, but you can keep them parallel if that feels okay for your low back. Scoop your belly in. So I want you to imagine you have a blueberry underneath your belly button, and you're trying not to squish that blueberry. So you're pulling those abs in tighter, lengthen through the crown of the head. You're looking straight down towards your mat. And then from here, you're gonna lift arms and legs and lower. Lift and lower. Again, as you lift, Think more about lengthening through those fingertips, lengthening through those toes, less about getting really high into that movement, and don't squish your little blueberry under your belly button. Here's three, 
two. Last one and down. Take a little child's pose here. Let your low back release. Toes together, knees apart. Let those arms reach in front of you. Beautiful job, ladies. We're almost finished here today. We're gonna come onto all fours, hands right underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath those hips. We're gonna find a little bird dog here. So we're gonna be op reaching opposite hand and leg out, nice and long. Core is strong. I want you to imagine you have a cup of water on your tailbone and you don't wanna spill it. So it's more about keeping contraction through the abs rather than those arms and legs. Don't, don't worry too much about arms and legs. It's more about that core work. Here we go. You're gonna take an inhale, slide the arm and the leg out, take your time, bring it right back in, switch. Now, focus again, just like we started today with those bridges, with those little hip dips side to side. We're trying again to prevent that hip dip from happening. So you have to engage your core, feel those obliques pulling in on your waistline, feel like you're pulling those abs as tight as you would be in a plank. And that is your first goal, is keeping those abs as tight as they would be in a plank. Then it comes arms and legs. Again, don't worry about how high they get. Don't worry about how fast you go. Focus on control first and foremost. <sighs> nice job. Three more on each side. Reach long, think more length through the crown of the head, through the fingertips and the toes. Two more each side. One more on each side. And down. Roll it out a little bit, shake out those wrists a little. One more exercise, we're gonna find a full plank on those hands gonna work the shoulders, the core, everything. 30 seconds right here, hands right underneath those shoulders. Step those feet out and find a nice beautiful plank and we're holding for 30 seconds. Belly button pulling in towards your spine. Soft little bend in your elbows, I don't want them locked out. Now, making sure your hands are right underneath your chest and your shoulders, not your face. So shift your weight forward just a little bit. Reach the crown of the head forward. We're almost there. We've got 10 more seconds. <sighs> Big inhale, long exhale. <sighs> Three, two, one, and down. Woo! All right, ladies, face me. We're gonna find a little Z sit here. So you have one foot kind of to the inner thigh, the knee of that opposite leg, and you have that other leg kind of parallel to the short side of your mat. Now you're gonna reach up and over, find a little mermaid sort of stretch here. Stretching everything out. Bring it up, switch sides, try and keep both hips down. Now if you need to roll your mat or put a pillow underneath your hip on that side, totally fine. But work your way towards trying to get that hip staying grounded, because this is great for some hip mobility here. It is challenging, especially if you do a lot of desk work. So again, you can always roll up your mat or put a pillow underneath that hip. All right, reach it over, other side. This should feel so, so nice through that side body. Bring it up and switch it. Nice job, ladies. and you are all finished. Thank you for showing up with me today. Thank you for working out with me. I'll see you in the next workout.